Hey, what's up? Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about all the accessories and camera gear that I have fit inside this small Altura camera backpack that is readily available on Amazon. This is one of the smaller camera and photography backpacks available on the market right now, and I have a full set of clothes in here as well as a MacBook Air, a small mirrorless camera, a GoPro, a set of mics, and some other accessories that are typical of like a photography or video shoot. So I'm going to open it up and show you exactly what's going on here and show you just how compact this thing is. It's really cool. And good morning. I'm behind the camera. This is actually a new camera or it's a new smartphone for me. It's a Google Pixel 4a been wanting to try it out because of the camera. I've had better phones, like more recent phones, but these Google phones tend to have the best video and photo quality. So let me know what you think about it. Let's get into this backpack here. Now this is set up mainly for like a one day or, or one night sort of trip, maybe two nights. And it includes an entire set of clothing. So I have this minimal sort of string backpack which I love these things because they're just so small you could pack them down you could use them as like grocery bags and you don't really have to conform to any sort of restraint with this you could just throw a set of clothes in there and you're good to go right now there's a dirty set of clothes in there so just trust me that yeah, it fits but again I'm kind of counting my clothing that I'm wearing as one set of clothing for like one day and then that is for the second day so it's it's kind of a hack if you're a minimalist which I am not but we'll get into that later <laughs> and right here you have the MacBook Air which fits perfectly in this uh, Altura backpack um, there's not any like crazy organization in here I kind of hacked it to make it work with clothing because it's not marketed as something that you would tech, uh, typically put clothing in with your camera gear. But I really like the concept of having one vessel for everything on like a short trip. So that's why I'm showing it to you. Again, this is the MacBook Air 13 and it fits like a glove. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty gingerly and baby my tech gear and I'm very careful with it if I feel like it's going to be an issue to carry something like this in a bag then I'll just avoid it and this falls right into the category of I'm okay with it I just take care of how I'm moving this backpack around because there's not a ton of room this is actually designed for an iPad just so happens that the design and technology advancements in the past three years or so that this camera came out or this camera backpack came out, MacBook Airs got smaller and more powerful. Now the MacBook Air has always been small, but the like 2010 era MacBook Airs are nothing compared to these M1s. But yep, that's my MacBook Air, and it has a little Velcro sticker there for my external hard drive, if you're wondering. And, okay, so let's get into the meat and potatoes. I don't have anything in this zipper pouch, and that's because, like I said, I'm very gingerly about how I um, take care of my expensive gear. So if I put anything in here, there's not enough space in this padding or the, the design of the backpack to um, hold anything without pressing onto like the lid or the, the bottom of the MacBook Air. Without anything in here, I feel like it's padded enough and it's going to be safe in there while traveling with all these other accessories. So let's get into these accessories. Obviously you have the MacBook Air charger. And the thing I love about this is it's a USB-C to C. And nowadays most things are USB-C and like this phone here, my GoPro, it's all USB-C. So as long as I bring this charger, I could charge my phone, I could charge my MacBook, and I could charge my 
GoPro, which is in there. So that's really awesome. And I don't know, maybe the wattage isn't correct for all those devices, but it works and that's what I care about. So that's the main accessory as far as like cordage goes. This is just a GoPro windscreen, which is a necessary accessory if you're into riding or like running, maybe you're into free running or something, anything that's gonna be windy, you need that thing on your GoPro because it's gonna eliminate that wind noise. This is one of my favorite accessories for filmmaking, video making, content creating, whatever you wanna call it. Kinda of hard to open with one hand. But these are the Cinco wireless mics. And I love this little pouch or pack that it comes in because you have the two mics and it's not the most efficient use of space, but it keeps these protected, which is good. I would, I sometimes throw them in here if I'm going on a shoot and I'm not bringing like my MacBook. But in this case, I, again, I said, don't put anything in here because it's gonna press against your lid. That's not good for the computer. But yeah, these are really nice. They work well and the best part is they there's room for other accessories in here so I have like a, a lav mic in there and the connectors for the camera and then I also keep other small accessories in here like I'll keep GoPro batteries in here this is the the GoPro max lens mod and it just fits in there nicely but this thing takes up a pretty good amount of room in the pack so I could go ahead and replace that if I really need to. It's not a huge importance to have, but this is a buff um, and I use these a lot for just holding my GoPro or other small cameras to protect like the just the body of the camera. And then I also have a buff to wear if I need it, like out in the field. GoPro Hero 9 Black, best action camera that's out. Don't buy anything else, get this one. Uh, there's not much to say about it other than than that and this is the snap mount this is also the best mount for a GoPro on the market I really would recommend just any of the GoPros GoPro 7 8 or 9 from those generations up they're pretty great cameras I've had all three of them and I still have the 8 and shoot with it and it's really just as good as the 9. The 9 just has that replaceable lens, which is something that makes me feel a little bit better because I could replace it if it breaks. There's just like one screw for the GoPro. And we're getting down to the last accessories here. This is my prized joy. I have almost every camera in the Panasonic Lumix lineup. This is the GX85, which is one of my favorites. I have the G85, which is um, not so much a big brother. It's just kind of a, a different camera completely, but it, it's within the same camera line. I have that and I have the GH5. So the GH5 and the G85 are more akin and more relatable than this is to the G. 85 and the GH5. This one's kind of in its own little wheelhouse because it's so small, but it's got the interchangeable lens. It has all the same qualities of that Panasonic color and image stabilization, which still to this day, this is a four-year-old camera, I believe. This is the only camera that is this body size that has image stabilization in 4K and is literally a fraction of the price of like the A6500 that's 1080 and doesn't have any stabilization. Um, I'm prob I probably have that, that stat incorrect. I don't know if it's exactly the A6500, but those smaller Sony um, APS-C sensor cameras are pretty much the same camera, but without stabilization. And I'm, if I'm, if I, I feel like I'm correct in saying that it doesn't, they don't shoot 4K either. So 4K camera, full size, articulating screen in the back. It doesn't turn around completely, but it folds all the way flat. Like it'll come out even more, but it's kind of hard to open it up one handed. And it's professional. It's, 
it's the real deal. You don't need a mic input. I have other ways of recording. Um, one of the things that I might replace in that scenario with this is like my just field recorder and the, the lab mic as opposed to having wireless mics because actually now that I think of it, those are, <laughs> those are useless because um, well, I don't have a mic input on this. So yeah, that's actually my mistake. I should have brought my field recorder. But the last accessories in here are two batteries. And this one is for this camera. And this one is for this camera. And that gives me enough battery to film in the field without worrying about charging this stuff and enough options to where I could film, I could upload, and I could edit if I really need to. I mean, this is kind of like, I don't, I'm not this sort of filmmaker. I'm not like an adventure filmmaker. I am, but I don't like, I'm not traveling to film my stuff because I just don't, I don't have, I don't see value in that. I, there is value in it, but um, it's just not my workflow, but I know people do that. And that's why I'm showing it to you. Um, I brought this just in in case something came up and I thought of like a cool story to tell, but maybe you're like that too and you want to have things um, just ready in case. <laughs> but, but that's beside the point. Let's get into a few other Easter eggs in here. This video is getting kind of long. Um, this, these are my AirPods. Pretty straightforward. And then I have one more Easter egg, which I forgot about completely. <clears throat> it's the Insta360 uh, Go 2, which is a camera now that I'm relegating to the, the pits of the backpack. I, I don't really, I don't know what to say about this camera. It's <clears throat> not on my good list, that's for sure, but it's, it's a cool camera, I guess. And then on the outside of this, I have just a Leatherman. Uh, this is a wingman in a small little sheath with a nice Fisher Space pen. And that's all that's in here. Pretty cool rig. I was gonna say one more thing about this. Um, oh yeah, so to get this configured the way that I have it, the actual internals that come with this specific camera bag they don't really allow for this to be um, configured with like a, f a flat bottom area like this. <clears throat> the, the separators are a lot harder and they're a lot longer. They're meant for, they were designed for bigger cameras back whenever I purchased this thing. This thing's probably like three or four years old now and it's holding up great. So this is a really nice camera bag. Um, but I had to source this out of a different camera bag but if you're ordering this and you're looking to like do the same sort of thing where you have like a clothing area and then a tech area, just go ahead and pick up some extra little dividers. I'll, I'll throw them up in the uh, description so that you could see what I'm talking about. And that way you could configure this even, even better. I feel like that's a restriction that a lot of these companies um, put on themselves by not making these more modular, but <clears throat> they gotta be getting better now. I know that like the Peter McKinnon backpack has like actual hard separators, which I really like. And that's kind of <clears throat> what this is mimicking in a way. It gives you the ability to travel with your actual travel gear that you're like going to use as far as like clothing and whatnot, but also gives you your tech. And that's this video. Let me know what you think about it. Does that seem like a lot or is that just normal? I put some work into it and it I I like that the air or the MacBook Air just fits perfectly into that slot. It, it's like a glove and it just feels nice to be able to have all this on you just in case something comes up like you want to shoot a gorilla documentary video and get really into it. So, you could set up your uh, stakeout gear in this backpack. Anyways, see you on the next adventure. Go out there and create your own however you can. Spread some positivity. Mahalo.
talk a dog off a meat truck.